thank you all for being here today. Thank you for watching. Uh, just have a couple quick questions and uh, going to introduce this exhibition just a little bit, give it some context. And um, really, I have some questions today for Jen um, about audience, I guess, uh, is a good way of phrase, a good way of starting. Um, could you talk to us a little bit about sort of the way that a piece shifts when it goes from off of a stage down to the ground on the same level as the audience? Yeah, I mean, for the most part, my work generally sits inside of more experimental performance spaces or houses. So not predominantly working on massive orchestra stages or uh, venues like that. So I'm familiar with being close and intimate. Uh, but there is often a divide with audience in theater houses. There's a, a space of uh, riser seating or something. Mm -hmm. uh, but shifting into a gallery space or a more flexible space uh, where the, the public is potentially all around or milling through or somewhat closer um, invites uh, a kind of intimacy to the work that I'm interested in for this piece in particular. Mm -hmm. uh, in general, I'm interested in, in a level of intimacy, but this work, Clapped Hands, is calling for uh, research that um, that shifts or asks for a flexibility in architecture, space, um, new ways of people coming together. Uh, so this kind of flexible space is most appealing to that. Uh, but it does um, it does seem to tone down virtuosity, which is something really predominant in dance practices. Mm -hmm. Uh, this exhibition of the performing body as master um, or masterful or super skilled or alter human or other human. Uh, this kind of, uh, I guess, close proximity with audience or public and performers in the work feels like it's a bit absurd to be, uh, to be doing things that aren't of the casual or the everyday. Being in close proximity to people looking at you, for me, starts to acknowledge the absurdity of virtuosity uh, and when to play with it and when to really tone down to uh, a more basic, um, casual existence of performance. Yeah. Uh, can you talk about being willing to show the, uh, the blemishes of the piece and also how do you allow yourself to let the whole thing fall apart mm -hmm. uh, or the potential of it all falling apart in front of an audience? Yeah. So I think the, the research and in general my work is very curious about the blemish, um, not glorifying it. I'm in no way saying uh, that all work all the time should be hyper visible and transparent. I mean, there's a level of craft inside of it as well where we're hiding a lot of blemishes and we're working to craft or sort of smooth out uh, uh, the malfunction or the disorder. Um, and this is maybe one of the strongest challenges of working and where uh, emotions rise or tensions come up is like this dosage or this level of allowing within improvisation and, and sort of improvised scores that lead to more set choreography or at least a uh, a larger score arc of the work. Um, having enough play that allows for, yeah, these mistakes to arise and for them to be really living and vibrating in the work. But also, you know, I'm not looking to present a series of us falling over on the ground and not, <laughs> you know, the, the goal is also to uh, be working inside of a transform, uh, transformative space. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a dosage between how much do you want me to improvise and uh, play and go off the board, and then how much do I need to stick to the score in order to participate in what the work is asking for. Um, yeah, it requires a lot of checking in at, at every moment. Like, oh, I'm, I'm in this set, a more set structure, and then you have to check and be like, what else is going on? What are the other, what's the other information from past rehearsals or past performances that I can use? What 
and me doing? What's Jen doing? Mm -hmm. What am I feeling? Mm -hmm. I think that's good. I think that's great in a lot of ways. Um, I don't know. I guess I guess what we should say is that the space is open regular hours. Uh, these fine folks will be here performing, uh, practicing. It will be an open rehearsal. It'll be an open space that, that audiences can come to and, and check out and see what this is. And the interesting thing to me is it is this sort of peek behind the curtain. You, you typically do only get to see the finished piece. And this is this opportunity to sort of watch something grow. Um, I think it's, it, it'll be very interesting for audiences to come in sort of throughout the process. And then, of course, come on the 19th, come on December 19th for the sort of final, final performance here in Atlanta uh, and see where the piece is after, after two and a half weeks, almost three weeks of, of practice of sorts, of, of rehearsal here in Atlanta. So thank you guys so much. Thank you, thank you, Ben, and uh, take care. <laughs>